guys and welcome back to 100% Chelsea. I just came back from the ladies game uh, at Kings, from Kings Meadow. We just won 2-1 against Sunderland and that's so positive because we got three points out of it obviously and we again top of the league and um, I want to say a special thank you to Arsenal. It doesn't happen often when I say that but yeah because they beat um, Man City today 2-1 so it means that we're now six points above Manchester City and that is just lovely news really. Um, we still have two games left, they have two games left as well. We're going to play Liverpool and Bristol away. But yeah, talking about the game, it was a bit it was a bit tough really because, well, last time we, we, we had to play against them, we won 6-0, um, so fair play to Sunderland because we actually won 2-1 this time, it wasn't a huge, back, a huge gap. However, I think on the pitch there was difference. Uh, the first half was great for us, uh, Kirby scored uh, for the second minute just before half time. A good goal, and then um, we came back on the pitch. Uh, Chelsea had the ball, but we had more position. But in the first half, I think um, Sunderland was not really dangerous, uh, not really in the box. It was more like long shots, um, just went into um, Telford's hand. Uh, she was a good keeper today, you know, she we made some changes in the squad. She will play Slindell today. Um, but yeah, second half, we, we came with, back with like more possession again, but then they just started to attack a bit. And they scored at the 86 minutes, so that was really like a lot of nervousity because we needed a three points out of it to be safe in the league for the title. So if we just got one point out of it, it would be like a bit difficult. Um, so we got a lot of confidence from it, I think. Um, but yeah, they could have scored in the net in the last um, four minutes of the game. Uh, we did not consider another goal. Thank God for that. Um, but yeah, it was a bit um, dangerous at the end. They hold a bit. Um, they hold the ball a bit more in the second half. So it was more interesting, talking about watching the game, really. But yeah, we did play well. Um, I'm happy with the fact that we can change squad like that. Thoreau's the team was starting, Melder was in midfield, so Thoreau's the team was at the back. Um, Aluko started as well. Telford, I mean, it just shows the, the, the good players we have in this squad. We can just change it and still play well and win games. That's quality. But today was special first because it was the last home game, obviously. So um, that's a bit hard, like I've done videos, uh, vlogs, going to games this season for the channel and I, I loved it really. Uh, the attendance this year has been, it's been good, better than last year, so really amazing atmosphere. I have really enjoyed it and I'm going to miss it until September. I can't wait really for pre-season and everything. So last home game, obviously there are two away games we have left, Liverpool and Bristol. Unfortunately I'm not going to be able to go but I'm still going to do videos for the channel. It's not the end of the season, however it, I'm not going to go back to Kings Meadow until next season. So that was a bit emotional. The fans showed great support. Uh, it was good to see the team happy as well. It was really emotional again for something else because it was the last home game um, for Katie Chapman and Claire Rafferty. Chapman joined us in 2014 uh, from Arsenal. She won 10 FA Cup um, in total in a career. She's a legend of women's games. So that's why a lot of respect for her. Um, the fans showed great support. Uh, she's been with us for four years. She, she's she been a great captain, an important player. But as well for Claire Rafferty, um, I mean, I don't need to be neutral, but I want to talk personally because I grew up um, watching women's football and when I started to be interested in the show's ladies, so back in like 2010, um, Claire Rafferty was the main player. She was the top player. She's the player I looked up to. Um, she's been a true like inspiration for me and I think for many Chelsea ladies uh, fans over the years. She joined Chelsea in 2007 for Millwall um, I mean, she's been with us for more than 11, 10, yeah, 11 years she's a fantastic player unfortunately this season she didn't play that much I don't know why um, I mean she came on today to play 30 minutes she was quality um, I hope she's going to find a good club uh, because she deserves a lot uh, she's a fantastic player as I said and that was uh, difficult to to just see them two players uh, like not going to be able to see them again in Chelsea show like with my eyes, really, because I'm going to watch the other games. But, yeah, um, I mean, as a kid, Claire Rafferty, for example, she, she was my my idol. And uh, Chapman has always been, uh, like, such a big name in, in this game. So that's, that's weird to, to see them go. But other than that, yeah, it was it was a tough game. But we did manage to get the three points. Uh, as I said, we're top of the league again. But it's not the end of the season. Um, let's not be too confident. We never know. It's a bit sad that we conceded because obviously if we, lo if we lose the two next games in Man City, we lose two other games, for example, it's going to be a goal difference. And we very, I think it's just one point or something. So we're very close to them. So we, we, it's important to score goals. Unfortunately, we could not keep the clean sheet today. But we still won. And um, I think we'll be fine for the, 
for the next uh, games. Obviously, Fran Kirby was uh, was great. Um, super Fran Kirby. She won the Players Player of the Year. She won the every every awards. She scored again today. She's been unreal this season. Um, Cuthbert as well. Um, she didn't start all the game this season, but she's been very good. She's still very young. I think she's twenty. She's quality. She played the whole ninety minutes today. She was very good. Um, everyone Davison was great. Always trying to take the ball, uh, keep the ball, attack. Uh, Backman, she came on, she was good as well, Luca was good, Bright, bright has been uh, such a good defender all season, like all of them really, it was good, it's, it's, it's a good result tonight, um, I think we could have scored a bit like, more goals because we had, honestly overall we, we did dominate the game a bit, uh, but fair play to Sunderland because um, the last time yeah, we won 6-0 this one, it was 2-1, that's good, uh, Chelsea is still top of the league guys, that's very good news, lovely news, amazing news, unreal, and I'm going to see you very soon because the season is not over. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can follow us on social media. It's gonna be down in the description, and you can leave with us down in the comment. Um, you know, if you went to the game, I, it was an attendance of one thousand nine hundred people. So I'm sure many of you went to the game, and I, I want to hear about it because you never tell me how you how is the atmosphere, how is the stuff. Or if you don't go, then go next season. I'm gonna see you there. I'm go I'm going back next um next season, obviously. So yeah, I'm gonna see you very soon. À très bientôt. À bientôt.